Hello and welcome back to another arena video. I'm your host, Real Estate, and I am playing as Vane. I'm doing a viewer request, and the request has an interesting caveat. I must play Vane as a melee champion. And unfortunately, that means I must pass on Earthquake, as heartbreaking as it is. Draw your sword. As we select this prismatic, beautiful, powerful, prismatic augment, I have to wonder if I'm already bad at Vayne, will this make me worse? Anyway, this request was by La Lavzai04. This video is for you. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you love it. It's going to be very difficult. Mm, hike. What do we do? Who? There we go. Got a little damage on him. A little dimmy damn damage. I'm up here now. I'm gonna take advantage of this moment and grab this shit and kill Pike. And then we just kill Gragas because we can. Love it. Love to see it. Don't get me wrong. I'm really bad with Vayne. So, this may get ugly, but I got this, and I'm doing it for you. And win or lose, I'll probably end up trying this again, because I've already enjoyed it in the first round quite a bit. So, anyway, uh, Berserker's Greaves, obviously. Um, so, here's the thing. Uh, Vayne ruthlessly hunts evildoers. Gaining 30 move speed when moving towards enemy nearby champions. So I can run at people fast. Jump the Kale here. I agree. And we're going to jump a little faster because we're going to upgrade our Q. Yep. Alright. Our Q tumbles. Yep. W makes it so we do extra uh, true damage every third hit. E sticks people to walls or pushes them back. While well, it pushes them back or sticks them to walls, it's more in that order. Uh, my R makes me gain damage, um, and then movement speed or something. I don't know. It's complicated. It makes me more powerful. You can read it yourself. I don't really understand. I don't play Vayne. The thing I do know is I do have access to them if I take this portal and the blast cone. So, shit. I missed. Ah! Sorry, I panicked. Got her. Oh, she did. She did, did. Boing. Good job. That was pretty funny. I was trying to run away and Briar was trying to go in and then we ended up just poof getting what I wanted. Briar's probably like, really? Really though? Okay. Um I'm thinking reality fracture because this is a really great item and I love void grubs. It gives me ability power, which doesn't really help me. With my damage, I think something scales off of ability power. Let's just kind of go for it anyway, because I think the Void Grubs can be really handy and distracting. You really thought? Oh, Mirage Blade, obviously. On hit, reduce the remaining cooldowns of your dash and blink abilities by 12 seconds. 12, <laughs> 12 seconds. 12 
do 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 Rip. Oh, nice juke. Afraid it's too late for you. Go ahead. I'm the final boss. You have to get through Briar to get to me. All right. We are melee now. And what does this mean for us? Well, let's take a look. We gain 35% attack damage, 35% health, 25% attack speed, 25% lifesteal, and 25% move speed. And since we have no... Uh, uh, we do have life seal. All right. Well, maybe we should add to the life seal. Maybe we should just be like super unbeatable with our life steal. That's 15%. This one's 10%. This one gains extra damage and crit. Uh, I think I want the shield that comes with the bloodthirster. We're going to go with that one first. Bloodthirster? I meant immortal shield bow. I am so sorry. Got those two uh, well mixy mixed up. I'll fight you. I, I rolled right into that, but you know what? Are you? Wing. Get some, Briar. Let's go. That was an incredible display. We are Melee Vein. Have we lost yet? Nah, dog. Don't run away like a chicken. Would it be funny if we just were invisible? Uh, 15% attack damage. I always felt that that was underwhelming. Slap around could be good. But I feel like my cooldown on that's not very good. Maybe we'll reroll and see what else we can get. Mobilizing the burn. Immobilizing restores health. Um. Mirror image. I don't think I need those other immobilizing buffs. They really want me to do immobilizing, but I really just want to rebel against it. Oh shit! With the laser beam! I got lasered. Was that Lux? Oh no, it was uh... So they both got laser beams. Twisted Fate with the laser. Dude, that was really smart, him uh, putting that right there. I didn't even notice it because I kind of forgot it exists. Nobody ever takes it. So that, was, uh, that was a good move. Good move. I will remember that. I need to start looking at what people got. All right, Poppy Zack. So for this, I'm thinking we are going to want a Blade of the Ruined King. Are they going tank? They're both going tank. She's going to block attacks. So we want to kill Zack first. I'm going to go for Zack. Even though he has Thorn Mill, she's blocking attacks and will probably take longer to kill. It does have Frozen Foundations, though. She's got clothesline. That's not very strong. I mean, you give it enough time, it can be, but. I digress. Poppy.
try and uh, let Briar take some of that for a little bit. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, we got him. Damn it. Whatever. Poppy's dead, and that's what's important. That's cool. We're in the middle. He already lost his passive. Uh, let's get attack speed. I'm quite decisive. Sure, what I want. We're fighting uh, NASA Surgot next. And we want to kill Urgot first. Oh, he's melee too. So we gotta be extra careful with that. I also have draw your sword. Dang, melee Urgot. That sounds like fun. I want to try that one next. Also have it. Uh, I think I want a Rage Blade so I can get my extra on hits. Probably do that next. Then we'll end it with a Bloodthirster. A mirror image saved me, I think. Ah, fuck, man. Should have gone for my ally. We might need to build some armor for him. But we can circle back to it later. It'd be really cool if I could get the uh, Dark Seal Talons. I think I could do a lot with those. Man, I took all physical damage. Whoa, close game. Alright, we get a Prismatic here. Oh, but Shield of Molten Stone? Let's get that. We'll have to kill Gragas as fast as possible, though, because we don't have... any uh, magic resistance. Is this a 10% uh, block chance, by the way? Nice, good job. I think I took a lot of hits from Gragas though. I almost died there. But I need to be able to duel the Urgot. Look at him go. My armor's better. But his attack is higher. But I think that my percentage is beat his out. This is attack speed. Well, I've got better attack speed, so... I think I beat him. Ah, 
Nice. Frozen Foundation, Serve Beyond Death. Ooh, Serve Beyond Death. Yes, please. Or should we do Frost Wraith and Root People? Could be handy on Jin. He tries to run away a lot. But if he kills me super fast, I might want that extra, like, second to try and kill him. Actually, I don't think he can. I'm armored. Let's do Frost Wraith so that we can keep these ranged guys under control. That was so fast. I'm armored, so I'm not afraid of anybody who's AD. And it's looking like they might get this uh, Gragas out, so I'll have no more worries. Look at him go. He has magic resistance. He split his de defenses. But I'm literally building solely to beat this Urgot because we both have Draw Your Sword, and it's a Draw Your Sword duel. I shouldn't tell him anything to the last game, or last round, I mean. Because, uh, yeah, no one else stands a chance against me or that. I guess it's out. These two are still up, actually, so they have a chance of beating me, but they have to hit me with those skill shots. And they're probably going to want to skill shot Briar because she's going to run straight at them. Gonna take attack speed. Alright, we are up against these two now. It's our health head. Alright, get the twisted fade. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go. Ooh. Nobody can beat this Urgot but me. He's the final boss for me. And I am the final boss for him. Although he did beat me earlier. But he doesn't realize that I am going to make a huge comeback. It's like when the hero beats the villain in a video game. And then... Uh, the villain comes back again and he's like, I was only using 10% of my strength. Let's see what else he's got. Warp Force, Typhoon. Eh. He's got a Hemomancers, but he's not really building a uh, health, health steal. But me, I'm going to go big. Uh, dang, we're sitting out this round. Need 500, yeah. We got augment selection next round. Sell your boots and your guardian's hammer. <laughs> There's your five. If you wanted to, you would. Same. I had to get a uh, bloodthirster though. Sixty one percent health steal.
Lightning strikes, nice. I'm considering killing time, but I don't think that uh, it's going to work like I think it will. But, what if we got bread and cheese? Ooh-wee. Can't wait to fight him. Got him. But unfortunately, I didn't get the kill, so I'm pretty upset about that. Fuck! Why couldn't I hit it? No! No! Maybe I'm not his final boss. Maybe uh, it's just me. Uh, yeah, obviously. Ugh. Ugh. Nervous now. I think we gotta take out the Nasus first. Let's go. Need to run. Damn it. Come on, Briar. Oh, so it looks like Urgot is superior. But Vayne is still extremely good. Melee. Good game. You got me going like a wildfire.